some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have good guy audit standing outside of a police station as he's too afraid to go inside and audit the joint. But some police officers take notice of him and completely own and roast him. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's your boy Good Guy Orders. We're here in Friday's night. We're gonna order this police station. See how it goes. We got an officer right here. How's it going, sir? Sir, do you need help? Can I help you with something? You okay? Hey, what happened to your script? What happened to standing up to the man and making them lick your boots? You had an opportunity there, but you cowered out of it. Now, let's see how you do with the rest of this so-called show. Can I get your card? Sorry? Your card? Your card? One second. Take your time. Oh, Frauditor, you're just standing right outside looking in. Are you afraid to enter the lion's den? Are you afraid of what's going to happen? Officer Guzman? Right, jumper 156, Thank you. You're welcome. You okay? Are you? I'm you need a, You need an ambulance? Are you intoxicated? You sure? Do you have any weapons on you? Do I have weapons? Yeah, you're not supposed to have? <laughs> Anything in your pockets that could poke or prick me? You're a little off script right there. That's the officer's script, not yours. You should be using... Frauditor 101 script. And even the tone of your voice is way off. It sounds like you're gonna cry. I mean, where's the forceful voice that I'm used to from other auditors like Long Island Audit, for instance? You're not putting up a very good front. Pathetic. Okay. What the fuck is he looking at? He's checking your you know, safety. And now enters the star of the show. Let's watch this beautiful verbal ownage. He's doing a documentary, I'm assuming, or something. Okay. Why? Why are you being nosy? What's up? Why are you being nosy? I don't know. Why are you being nosy? I'm checking up on my government workers, which is my 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 right, and I'm under which amendment? I'm obligated to under which amendment? It's my duty as an American citizen to check up on my government one. workers. What's that? You tell me. I'm asking which, the which, which amendments am I pra am I Bro, you practicing can... right now? I'll, I'll mumble your mouth before you come over here. Take your shades off in the building. There's no sun in there. Hot shot. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. He's just fucking asking stupid questions. What amendment is it for me to check up on my, my government employees? It's not under any man, it's our fucking duty. 
as American citizens to check up on you guys. Oh, I feel so much safer knowing that idiots like you are standing outside of police departments blocking the entrance. What would we ever do without you? He's a hot shot. Oh, you took your glasses off. That's good. You can take suggestions. Well, we got an active crime scene. You can videotape. Put, we got to go over put there. Put tape up. What's up? You got to put tape. You got to go over this side. You block in the staircase. You have to go this way. We have crime victims coming in. How's the public supposed we to know We have crime that victims crime coming scene. in. You can't be videotaping. That's intimidating to them. You can go stand over there. You can't have a camera in your face. You're walking a crime victim in. He literally just said I can't record from the public sidewalk. Is that what you're saying? You got to go over there. We have a crime victim coming in. You can't be videotaping a random civilian coming in to make a report. That's intimidating to them. You have to go over there. So, you can't re-victimize the victim. I'm not victimizing nobody. Yes, you are. You How? can go over there. When they're inside, you can come back over here and do whatever it is you're doing. How am I victimizing the victim? Because they don't want to be videotaped coming in to make a police so report. So protect their identity. I'm in public on a sidewalk. You can't turn photography into a crime. At all. You know what? You can't, no, you can't, you can't videotape you know, this person coming I, in. I could. No, you can't. It's up to you to protect their identity, not up to me to protect their identity. First of all, you're engaging in witness tampering or intimidation just by your mere presence. Nobody knows who the hell you are or what the, you're there for. I mean, think about it. A random man standing at the entrance of a police department while a witness comes in to give a testimony about a issue or a crime that happened. Doesn't that seem a little funny to you? I'm in public on a public sidewalk. So put a hood over their head. That's your job. No, That's they're, they're job. under no obligation to be masked because and you're I'm over not, here and you're you intimidating have no them. Authority over me, sir. Why are you why are you antagonizing this person? What do they do to you? You have no authority over me. I'm on a public sidewalk. Why are you why rights. are you antagonizing this person? You see how he went inside, then his ego came up, then he can he has to come out here and try to exert some authority over me. You see no, that, right? No, I'm trying to help out this person no, that exactly got robbed, right. so, and you're making it difficult for so, me to do that. So protect their identity. I don't have to do I'm that. I'm the media. I'm you're on the, the media? sidewalk. What publication? None of your business. If That's the name of my media, company. None of your business, Inc. If you're claiming to be media, you're supposed to present credentials. I thought you knew about the amendments. What happened? Yeah, that is freedom of the press, but you're supposed to exactly, present credentials. Exactly. So what, so agency, what's your credentials, then? what agency hands out credentials? Please tell me. DCPI. Yeah? What's that stand for? Deputy Commissioner of Public Information. Oh, he hands out freedom of the press credentials? Yes. I don't need credentials. Well, the fraud order got his question answered, and correctly, I might add, but that's still not good enough for the frauditor. You have credentials for your freedom of speech? Yes, I do. Where's your credentials for freedom of speech? Do you need credentials for freedom of speech? Well, no, right? I'm just doing... Why would I need credentials for freedom of press? <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. What's up? When a good officer, you seem like a good officer, right? seem educated. I don't know how long you've been in the force. When you see another officer doing bad, you don't put them in their place? I know it's a stigma, no snitching on the cops, you can't arrest other cops. If he's doing something wrong, but you, you see know, him, But you, you see him trying him. to exert authority. Okay. He has I'm on a public sidewalk. Well, he was just questioning you. Um, I mean... He's, first of all, he came this close to me trying to intimidate me. I know you guys are taught intimidation factors. Maybe you're not taught intimidated. Maybe it just comes natural yeah. Yeah. to try to intimidate the public. Maybe. Clearly, I know my rights. Okay. Clearly, I came here to check up on you guys. Make sure you know my rights. Make sure you honoring your oath yeah. that you took to protect my rights. Yeah. So why is he trying to violate my rights? I'm on a public sidewalk. I can't go inside and record no victims, Correct. but I can record whatever I can see from public. I'm on a public mm -hmm. sidewalk. But maybe somebody's doing the report comes in and say, oh, that's weird. You can't stop. You can't stop the people from well, recording on a public sidewalk. You can't turn photography into a crime. That's why I'm letting you record. Exactly. You're not letting me. The Constitution is allowing me to exercise my rights because we're in, we're in a free country. You know, there's going to be a law passed one day that restricts people's rights to film in public because of idiots like you exploiting the loopholes and laws or giving narrow-minded arguments about witness intimidation issues when you clearly are in the wrong. And when that day comes... And it will because of idiots like you. You'll be looking for someone to blame. And I'll advise that you look in the mirror. You know what I mean? So you're not letting me. I'm allowing you. are not violating my rights. I'm not true. So, but you're not letting me. I'm exercising my rights. I'm free to. How's your so we, you, I'm grateful. Good. It's beautiful. God is good. 
Amazing. So when you see him doing that and trying to exert power over me, you tell me, yo, stop. Why don't you tell him to stop? <laughs> You're a good officer. If you see I, I, his ego come out of nowhere. I don't really think he was like really violating your rights in he's, a sense. He's hitting me but, unintentionally. Well, maybe unintentionally. Maybe that's not. What's going, Captain? What's up, Captain? What's up? How are you? No, this isn't him. This is not him. Your name is not Angel? What's your name? Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. No, What's your name? Guy's just like a, I don't answer questions. Oh. Damn, you a white shirt and that's how you express yourself in front of the public? Yeah. I mean, I think what you're doing... Your haircut is annoying. annoying. You don't see me annoying. talking shit. So me exercising my rights and checking up on my government is annoying? Damn, and that's who you, that's your leader? No wonder you... I'm my own leader. No wonder that's how you act. Look who you fucking... Look who you're under. Why'd you, you, can, you, why you take the, the job? I'm not. Look. Why did you take the job? You drum? can't stand between this line? Of course I can. If somebody wants to pass, I'll move out the way. If I'm not blocking it. You you're obstructing it right away. now. You're obstructing it right this now. This is my post. Okay, anyways. Why did you take the job? What's that? Why did to you take the job? To help robbery victims, unlike you, who wants to fucking victimize them further. That's why. You came, you took the job specifically to help robbery victims? Yeah, to especially help robbery victims. That's, really that's why. And you're further victimizing them by making them scared to come in the precinct. I'm just exercising my rights Because you want to come here dressed like a fucking ninja and scare them from coming inside. That's why. Look at Be you. a man and take your mask off. Look you at the talk. way you behave. I'm behaving fine. I can imagine how you treat people once they're arrested. You probably beat the shit out of them, right? Never. Okay. Never. What's more important, police safety or public safety? Public safety, but you're hurting the public safety. Not at all. You're not hurting my safety. I'm no. not scared of you. You don't have to be scared. I'm not here to intimidate nobody. You're intimidating all the people that are scared to come in right now because you're here dressed like Storm Shadow. I don't have the right. I don't have the Fourth Amendment. The right to be secure in my face and my documents. That's the Fourth Amendment? Yeah. What's the Fourth Amendment? I just told you. That's not the Fourth Amendment. The right Amendment. to be secure in our documents and our, and our information, no, our not. privacy. Negative. I don't have to show my face what'd in you, public. What did you get in the U.S. History Regents? A 20? No, I dropped out of high school. Well, I could believe one thing you said. Obviously, you didn't graduate high school. You dropped out. Because you have a complete misunderstanding of what the Fourth Amendment is. It is about unreasonable searches and seizures. And it says nothing about clothing. As somebody once said to me about that kind of issue about high school, the world needs ditch diggers too. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Thank you. What you learn in training? You, learn, you obviously they learn de-escalation. Obviously, all right. So which I actually which amendments I'm I'm practicing? You couldn't even answer that. Get back to work, bro. Stop being a fucking dick. You were nice. I appreciate you, but don't be like him, bro. Little explanation of the Dunning Kruger effect. I know I got it in my comments below, but this guy is a perfect example of what that is. The very basic knowledge of what the Dunning-Kruger effect is, is that the less knowledge a person has about a particular topic, the more confident that they know everything about that topic. But whenever they are actually put to the test, it shows that they know absolutely nothing. And that was shown today in how that idiot of a frauder butchered what the Fourth Amendment was all about. So, another victim of their own stupidity.